in this tutorial we will be talking about the antenna modeling and the equivalent sources actually a basically an equivalent source is a numerically equivalent uh, we can simulate it or measure or measure it of a complex source and we can get the significant regressions with the computational times will be achieved when solving a complex problem uh, through the equivalent source approach in this particular demonstration we will we'll be dealing with spherical mode source uh, a, a, an impressive spherical mode excitation based on recalculated spherical modes. The spherical modes are either irradiating to infinity or incident on a structure. Okay, let us start demoing this particular uh, equivalent source problem. Uh, you can see over here in this particular slide, uh, this is the real antenna, and the real antenna can be replaced with the equivalent source antenna that is nothing but uh, spherical mode force uh, that we will be using to replace this particular real antenna. Let us go ahead and look into the demonstration. Uh, let me launch the CAD FICO first. I am going to launch the CAD FICO. Uh, in this particular problem, I will be using a regular horn antenna. Let me create a regular horn antenna model uh, for our analysis. You can go to the, in this particular uh, uh, video, I would like to use a component library feature to bring the on antenna model. On antenna, I would like to use the pyramidal and I would like to choose a couple of settings here. I would like to use 1 giga H and also I would like to use method of moment solver and I would like to use single frequency. And then we can add to the model. Then I can go ahead and request the far field features. Okay, you can see over here in the configuration tab of the coiled FICO. Uh, you can see the horn antenna uh, far field that's we requested. You can see over here 3D pattern. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And I can go to the advanced tab over here and I would like to request the spherical mode options. You can calculate the spherical mode, spherical expansion mode coefficients. And we can guess if we have any specific number, we can use them. Otherwise, use as as this export spherical expansion coefficients to ASCII file. Apply and click OK. And then I will be using a save as. Uh, then I can go to the desktop and I will be going to the horn antenna spherical source. And of course, it's the real antenna. I'm going to keep it as a real antenna name. Okay and let me simulate this one let me save it and of course everything is set up then let me mesh this model model because i'm meshing the model then i'm going to go to the solver run tab and i'm going to use the fico solver to solve this particular problem yeah this is going to solve the problem for us let us finish this uh, simulation model it won't take much time uh, this will be really fast and once it is done we can go to the folder spherical mode source folder and we can look into the files okay yes this is finished and i can go ahead and look into the folder and spherical mode source you can see over here all the things are there we do have the spherical mode source got exported let me go back to the post fico session and plot the far field pattern for this particular con antenna okay just we will be using this on into the pattern and I will be just let me make it visible using the pan view I made it much more visible and make the result much more elegant I would like to deactivate the grid option and of course I will use it 60% so that we can see both the structure as well as the pattern okay then this is for the real antenna let me set up the model for the spherical mode source yes as I was showing you in the folder uh, the exported file will be using this as the source the uh, spherical mode source for our uh, antenna we are going to replace our real antenna and we'll be using that spherical mode uh, source for our analysis okay then go to the construct tab and uh, in the construct tab first of all, i need to pull that spherical mode source into this particular cad fico session that's what i am trying to do I go to the construct tab, field our current data, import spherical modes 
file and let me import this particular one. Let's click on more files. That's what just this is what we just got uh, exported from the real horn antenna. I want to use that particular one. Create this the data file data is available for me. I can use this particular data and also you can see over here just a little bit elegant over here in the UVN and then go to the construct tab and I know the frequency at which it is working at what to choose as one gigahertz then I would like to choose the source so what is my source is here my source is you can go to the source or load tab and equal and source and choose the spherical mouse okay create and you can see a donut shaped at the origin that is our spherical mode source and of course if we have our sources available I just need to get the far field from this particular spherical mode source of course I will be having far fields that are generated from this particular one 3D pattern 38 okay I got this particular 3D pattern I got requested then of course there is nothing much to do with the meshing because there is no real geometry that's why we are not meshing anything then I can go to the solve what our solve what run tab and I can put the FICO solver before running the FICO solver I would like to save this particular file uh, save as on antenna spherical mode source spherical mode let me save this and let me run this okay I'm running the spherical mode yeah it doesn't take much time I could able to finish my simulation. Let me launch the post FICO session. And let me bring my model, on antenna model. I have my on antenna model, real on antenna model. Of course, this is my equivalent source. Then I would like to plot a far field pattern for the equivalent source. Okay, this is a little bit scaled up. We can make it scale down by zooming down. I go to the view option, zoom in, oh, because I'm going out, zoom out, let me make it zoom out so that we can make it visible, okay, just, just to make it uh, better viewing purposes, and I also want to make it like this, so that I can remove it, and I would like to go ahead and uh, result, I would like to make the react with a grid option, and make it opaque, so that we can look at the you can see when I can reduce the 20 percent so that we can look at the donut surface of the our spherical mode source. Okay, then let me plot the results, post FICO results in polar plot. Then I can choose the far field, uh, real hand antenna far field. First, I will let me plot that particular one. Then data wrapped. Then, of course, I do have the spherical mode source and I have this particular one. Uh, because it's completely matching the results, that's why we could not able to see this particular one. I would like to use the marker so, so to distinguish both these things. I would like to use the circle option over here. Yes, you see here, both the real horn antenna as well as the spherical mode, they are matching very well. Uh, let me open the presentation slide. Okay, you can see over here, we simulated the real horn antenna, the far field pattern using the component library feature. Then we got the exported the spherical modes from the far field pattern, and of course, then we are using those far fields which are exported in the spherical modes as a source in layer of the real antenna, and we obtain the far field the pattern from the spherical mode source. And you can see here that means we can both the results from the real horn antenna and horn antenna the spherical mode source are agreeing very well. Uh, so they are working at 1 gigahertz of course, they are agreeing very well. That means one can replace the real horn antenna with the spherical mode source. And they can use the spherical mode source in view of the real antenna. Thank you.